Yeah, good evening. Uh, we're just starting to get the <clears throat> storm that swept through Britain and France and Germany yesterday. The snow is just starting to fall. It's magnificent. It's a little late. Thinking, Ooh, maybe spring's here, but uh, I guess not. But I'm not here to talk about the weather. Uh, I just talked to my sister, who is uh, has been for, gee, I don't know how many years, uh, involved in A Course in Miracles. My Aunt Lynn Mahaffey, who I've talked about, who was mentioned in a book about Lilydale. In fact, the book was called Lilydale. <laughs> uh, has been out in kind of the alternative spiritual world uh, for years. Uh, well, not anymore. She's not here anymore. She's dead. Uh, <clears throat> but she bought us all A Course in Miracles book. I've got mine here somewhere. There it is. And uh, I've started through it. And I've never finished it. Uh, they say the average time to get through the Course in Miracles book is over three years. And uh, I can usually finish a book that size in about a day and a half. But uh, my sister is doing courses in the principles of A Course in Miracles. And the, the, uh, the teacher for her is a gal called Nook who has a different slant on the course and but the course design i i think i believe is is to time, get you out into those higher states of awareness which are fragile which uh and she said last year or last week she was going she'd gone through some things and we went through them and uh, <clears throat> she said i'm having what the core I'm, I'm what i'm experiencing is what the course called happy days and uh it's that your happiness, I think, is as, as much an, as a much as much an illusion as uh, the rest of the world. But they feel better. To me personally, uh, we have run parallel courses in our lives. Uh, looked at life for what it is. Worked real hard, and then uh, started getting out into the I guess spiritual end of it and started looking at the human spirit and, and the capacity for the human spirit. And uh, she believes, as I do, I think, that uh, we came here to be happy. Uh, when you set out on a course, any course, I think, uh, that is going to lead you to greater levels of spiritual happiness or any kind of happiness, spiritual, corporal, it doesn't really matter. If it's there, it's there. Uh, I think that there that the universe, I mean, probably not the universe, but that there's a conspiracy to try to keep you encapsulated. If you've been following my videos, you know there's, I believe there are two different operating systems in the, in the human system. There's the mind, that little voice, that reptilian world that talks to you all the time and very rarely tells you something good. And then there's the world of the spirit, right, which is who you are. We're physical beings on a spiritual journey. And the Course in Miracles uh, gives you practical steps on how to get to the spirit, how to get to basically you this meat body uh, is who you've come in to experience this with okay you see what I mean? your mom and dad got together put you in this and put you on the earth and then you're this little spiritual being and then your your homing beacon is your your spirit your higher self that delightful space where I went to when I talked about my uh, dad uh, passing away and I saw that everything was perfect. But at any rate, on my Facebook page, I'm going to post uh, my sister's post for her newsletter for her uh, course and A Course in Miracles. If you're curious about that kind of stuff, she's working in Lansing, Michigan, uh, East Lansing, and Arkansas. Uh, <laughs> seems like two places that are odd, but they're both magnificent. They're both beautiful. Uh, if you're curious, as I say, um, if you want to challenge people's beliefs, go someplace else. You know, if you want to look curiously and think, okay, does this work, does this not work, and have fun, uh, check it out. Uh, check out my sister. And have a fun day. Uh, everybody has their course. Everybody has their way. And because yours is different than mine, doesn't mean that it's wrong. That sounds really intelligent because it is. That was from the Dalai Lama, that last quote. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com.